In this video, I am going to show you how to do the port forwarding and DMS set configuration in Netlink GH323RGW ONT router. This router is also known as Xpon 1G1FE1POTS plus Wi Fi. First, we have to log in with the default IP address 192.168.1.1. The default username and password is in admin, or the password will be std capital letter o n u 101 the password i have mentioned in the description depend upon the firmware the password will be different after login select the application then nat configuration here you can add port forwarding you can press the add button here is the option for adding the port for particular ip or the server after pressing the add button you can able to see two options select a service and define a service Select a service means it is a predefined default ports available from the network. If you want to use the same, we can use same. Otherwise, we can define a service. That means we can create custom ports or same port with a different name. Here I am using define a service. Type a name. Then type the server IP address. Server IP means internal server IP we need to access from outside. Then press the enable button. We no need to mention the internet IP. Type the start and end port. If you are having range of ports, we can type start port and end port. In this case, we are using same port. So start and end port will be same. Then select the protocol. If you are having, if you are using TCP, we can use the TCP port. If you are using UDP, we can use UDP. Otherwise, we can use both UDP and TCP. Here I am using TCP. Then type the IP of the server. Then type the internal server port. Here we need to use only the starting port of internal server. It will take automatically the end port. Once after entering these details, need to save and apply. If you want to check the port forwarding, we can find our public IP using show my IP address on the Google. Copy the IP. We can verify the port forwarding using the service. Here we are using web service. Here we can use with the web browser with the particular port. We used 8080. We can type public IP plus 8080. If you are not allowed the external access from the firewall, you need to enable that. Otherwise, you need to turn off the firewall for accessing from outside. Always remember the firewall required a rule for outside access if the firewall is enabled. If the firewall is disabled, it will work automatically. For the security, we need to keep always the firewall is enabled. After disabling the firewall, we are able to access the web server from outside using the public IP. If you want to delete, select the port forwarding and delete. Now I am going to show you how to enable DMS. For that purpose, we need to select the DMS configuration, then enable the DMS host option. Once after enabling, enter the DMS host IP, then press the save and apply. Except port forwarder ports, all the ports will be forwarded to the DMS IP. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share, and subscribe.